Hello everybody, I'm back with another video for you today, and I've got a pretty cool Squirtel list that I'm going to play today. Uh, I've played a little bit of it already, uh, and it includes some of my favourite uh, things in life, which are all god, of course, uh, <laughs> hand buff with Sheldon, and just a whole bunch of control and thinning, um, which, you know, you tend to get when you're playing Precision Strike. Uh, it's just a pretty powerful control deck. Green Knight came up with it. Who's a player in TLG, if you weren't aware. Uh, and yeah, it's a little bit uninteractive when it wants to be with Sabretooth Tiger, just playing a bunch of, you know, uh, special cards, Nature's Rebuke, Circle of Life, and making a bomb. Uh, all pumping up the Harold Gord, which happens to also be a dwarf that you can boost up with Agitators, along with that Sheldon. And yeah, you just have so much control. You've got Professional with Precision Strike, it's really nice. Heatwave as well, Curse of Corruption, tall units are not going to be surviving against you here, and neither are, you know, regular engines that can be sniped off with 5 damage, rebukes, and whatnot. So, very nice kind of carryover deck, it's super good when you get it on red coin, because you can just juice up that Sheldon Skaggs, make him really, really strong. The, uh, what was it, the Guerrilla Tactics deck I played a few days ago was kind of similar to this, but I think this is a more kind of refined version, particularly for ladder, uh, actually has some pretty good matchups where you kind of would have thought it doesn't, like uh, against, uh, in particular, like Lockdown, Nilfgaard in general, a lot of removal really helps there. But yeah, it's going to be a good one, let's jump into some games and see if we can win. Ooh, a bit of Lockdown. It might seem like a bad matchup, but I think this one should be quite alright for us. Yeah, our Sentinels aren't going to do much, but the rest of our deck should be good for it, I think. Alrighty, I'm kind of liking the hand. We could just Mulligan Sentinel, I do think it'll be kind of dead. Anyway. And I like the look of the other cards, so... Let's get rid of that. God, my nose is being so won wonky today. Can't deal with it. Don't know why. Don't know what the hell it is. I don't feel like I'm ill, but maybe it's, I don't know, it could be allergies or something. No idea, mate. But I, all I know is I really hate it. It's just not a pleasant time. Not pleasant at all. Okay, a bit of an assimilate base. And I'll just, uh, probably just play Pyro if he wants to lock it. It's fine for us, isn't it? Maybe they'll kill it. Maybe they'll, yeah, just walk. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we just play removal, don't we? And chill. It was always going to get locked, I suppose, but I wanted to get the tempering value on it. I tried to, at least. I do like the hand, though. We can all guard it up. Feeling a sneeze coming on, oh man, oh man. <sighs> Not like this, dude. Not like this. Okay, um, I suppose we just go for another kill. We want to stay somewhat competitive in the round. Not sure if I'll play Nova Granny Injustice, but it's better to have the option to than not, I think. I mean, there's an argument to maybe kill the Slave Hunter and use Professional on that unit. Definitely an argument for that. Oh, my nose is so fucked, dude. I should have brought tissues here. I'm actually such a pub. What can you do? What can you do? More Assimilate. Assimilate Lockdown is pretty interesting. Just as a concept. Interesting. We'll see what we can do against it. I think I'm gonna go grab a tissue because I just can't deal with my nose, man. It's just so miserable. All right, one sec.
And yes, I will tell you this, guys. It is true that I'm in pajamas underneath this shirt. It's all a veneer. And an incredible waste of time, apparently. Um, oh god, let's go. Let's buff up volunteers. They'll be easy to get out. And protector, because that's a good card for later. Right? And then we can think about a pass. We can also think about a justice or a tempering. Um, it's a bit of a shame I can't take it with tempering, but we can always play professional instead. Because it's a bit harder to line up in this particular, you know, matchup. Oh man. That's the thing, guys, in life, often everything is just a veneer. Really. It's all an illusion. Guy is gonna take all God from me. That is... that is certainly rude. Okay. That's really good for us that they played that, because it means they cannot play it on my Sheldon and Joachim him. Which would be a really nasty finisher for them. <laughs> So overall, we're just pretty, pretty chuffed. I think I'm. A I think I'm actually going to play professional here, mate. I think I'm actually going in now because they've they've opened the they've played some kind of weak plays here and opened the door to getting to getting freaking bullied. That's what's happening now. I'm, I'm bullying. I am becoming the bully. <coughs> oh man. We'll just go absolutely mad. We're going to go in. I'm done messing around, dude. Gonna win on even. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Professional target coming in. All gone. Coming in hot for the professional. It's gonna be some nice carryover for him, but it's also gonna be a nice professional for me. And I think with that, the opponent's gonna lose connection. And it's gonna be a big win, I hope. Lousy scraps. Ah, oh, the pro value. Holy moly. It's pro ladder, but I didn't expect to be making Geralt Pro work so well. To be fair, there's a lot of 12s that come out of Joachim. I feel like that's a common common number to get from him. But holy heck, are we in a big lead now? He kind of has to have the coup if he wants to win the round now, I think. There we go. Easy peasy. That's the nice thing about this deck. It kind of just plays from behind, but then can just catch up out of nowhere sometimes. Particularly when you neutralize any of their snowball-y engines. You know, stop those from getting in the way. Oh man, is this good? Uh... I guess I might just take the cyber, 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 cyber tooth tiger and just be a dick in this round. Since I get the Anira back anyway, right? May as well use it, push a little bit, try to get a scenario from them. Because while we have Heatwave for it, we'd much rather they just are forced to play it, I think. Ooh, this is a great Curse of Corruption target. Interesting. Defender. Wonder what that means. Maybe just a uh, scenario, but I'm pretty happy with that curse. <laughs> pretty happy with my finishers as well at the moment. I mean, they're not super big, but we're getting there. We're getting there. The gourd will be quite nice, I think. We play the Neuromancy another time, and then, you know, probably another spell or two. Oh, Albert Armored Cavalry. This guy's just not got the goods right now. He is a bit lost. Play another card, because why not? If he's playing a Cav there, he probably doesn't have a great deal that's getting ahead, and he probably is trying to stall a little bit, right? Question is, do we play on now, or do we just call it, or call it a day? I think we probably do play Sheldon. Yeah, I think so. 
I just really want to see a scenario if they have that, you know. And at least we're getting the uh, all godded cards, right? Getting the buffed up cards. There's the ball. Okay, now we can rest easy. Pass probably. They might not even be able to take it in one if we're very if we're fortunate enough. But you know, you've got to imagine there could be Roderick into coup, which can auto activate scenario. That would be a bit of an issue, right? So yeah, gonna just pass it all away. See what they've got. Maybe they just don't even have it here. We've kind of taken their deck apart a bit, haven't we? I'm not really sure what they're playing. Just a bit of a mix of random stuff. It looks like they don't even have the points. Do they? Nope. So we just get a 2-0 without even really bothering. <laughs> Fine with me. We take those. Let's jump into another game and see if we can win it again. Okay, Precision Strike Mirror. Blue coin not ideal for us, but... You know, we'll see what we can get done here. We'll see what we can get done. Broccolon Sentinel gonna be a no thanks. Too many temperings, I think, as well. And Volunteers. No, no, no. No bueno. Don't like it. It's not good. A Neuromancy... I mean, we've already got a lot of good stuff in hand. So it'll be an interesting one, that's for sure. Oh, God's good. Alright, I like the hand. It's a good hand. I do like it. Um, yeah. We can start with All God, I think. Plowing Reformers. Might be no units, might just be movement. No units can be a bit of a problem for us, particularly if we don't win round one. Uh, if he's playing a similar sort of list to this, or even more control heavy. But okay, it's gonna be Dunker. Uh, I honestly, I think I just curse of corruption this. I don't really wanna deal with that. deals with it quite neatly, doesn't it? Could have also pinged and rebuked, but if we can save the rebukes, then that's probably even better for us. Interesting. Dunker. Call of the Forest. Hmm. Maybe devotion-based movement. Maybe. Okay, the opponent's gonna kind of stick it to the man a little bit and try to pressure us. We probably have to respond with our own justice just to stay in the game here. You know how it is. Sometimes they do want to stick it to the man. Yeah, we have more points than them. We now need to try to persuade them, hey buddy, maybe you don't want to push this round so much. Maybe you want to take your foot off the gas a little bit there, fella. Let's see. It's gonna be four of five into rebuke. What? But why? Not complaining. I'll go with a low, low ass tempo play, mate. We're not that far ahead anymore, but I've got the Anero if we need it for I, who knows what. Maybe a professional. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. I think for a professional guys. Sometimes when they got a Triumph boy, you really need a uh, you need a pro Witcher to help you out, and nothing less than that. So you just need some tempo in your life, you know. <laughs> Bloody Nora, my nose is weird, weird. I might have to cut it short today, guys. Only only do like three games or something because I'm just not not up to it. Don't know what's going on. Terrible scenes, terrible. Feel very self-pitying, <laughs> but that's just how it is, I guess. Do be like that sometimes. All right, here come the movement engines. Arrogance movement. Happy to see it. Probably, I'm gonna commit forest protector if it's if it 
feels reasonable to do so. A bit worried about the Ithne. Ithne is kind of a nasty, nasty piece of piece of work. Definitely blue coin with this deck feels considerably weaker than red coin because you can't you can't win on even. You can't just abuse all of your carryover as much. But we're making we're doing what we can here though. Probably don't want to end up in a long round against them. Um, I mean, I've expended quite a lot of my removal as well already. Have got some engines for it, but you know, definitely wasn't a cheap round win there. So the question is, what now? We might just play round two with the saber tooth tiger as our backup, kind of lurking around. Just try to, you know, remove some stuff, see what we can make happen. I think that's going to be the play. Try to shorten the round a little bit, play a circle of life if I can. Do a, you know, it, it, it is the case that we have a lot of removal, but I don't want to play a long round against this at all. Kind of need to get, you know, an Ithne or whatever from the opponent as well, possibly, because that card's just nuts, and it does shut down our Sabertooth Tiger if we were to do it in round 3. I mean, round 3 Tiger's just not, not that great if we're going second. It's a bit weird because we don't have a good tempo play. We might just have to sort of commit a Sheldon <laughs> in this round 2, I don't know. Okay, this is good for us, this means we get a Circle of Life. Very good for us, actually. If we can just eke a little bit of extra value out of this Sabertooth Tiger, then we're just absolutely laughing there. It's just great. Obviously, we can't really lead her this round because we have the Broccoli and Sentinel in hand. A bit, a bit awkward. Howard Gord is 9 and counting. We can actually play a Sheldon this round if we want. If we can agitate to next. Heat wave. Wow, okay. Uh, might be time for a pass then, guys. Because what that means is it means there's probably no Ifne. And that's the key card that I'm scared of here. And yes, there can be a few bits and bobs, but we still have quite a lot of removal. If I play Agitator, he will get ahead of us and gain a card unless we commit Sheldon. I think it's better to just pass. Seven card round isn't too long for engines, it'll be hard for him to build up a board. We've got Leader to help remove stuff. Sheldon can remove a unit. That was actually a really nice push for us, because we got a bit of carryover. We traded a Tiger for a Heat Wave, which is a really good trade. At least at, at, at this point in the game. Uh, the draws are interesting, but okay. But making a bomb can end up being quite good for us. Two pieces of removal is nice. Gord with the Neuromancy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just a beautiful engine for us to kill. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gonna just make life real difficult for them. We can always heat wave the Gezraz. But I mean, I'm not sure they're gonna be able to get enough units here too easily. They might also have Rebuke plays and stuff, which are gonna be a bit dead. They've got Forest Protector, Rebuke. You can imagine how awkward the hand can be here, right? It's just a lot of hands that are not doing a great deal. And I'll just stay uninteractive here. And make life difficult. No more sentries, so we don't have to worry about that castle being worth a lot of value. It's a cat witcher. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, acceptable. Put it front row. My pyro. We're kind of just not really going to play a whole lot until sort of the end here. There's the rebuke, kind of as expected. Um, I don't think we even need to kill this cat witcher right now. I think we can just chill because once we give him units, it 
kind of enables his leader. It enables rebukes a bit more. So I'm gonna just wait on the precision strike. Maybe even heatwave the cat witch, honestly. Hey. Ugh. We could just deal with everything as well. But I think just heatwaving one or other of these is good, right? Probably this one, because it's taller. Stay uninteractive and then, you know, precision strike. This, this. Yeah. It's very sad. Very sad engines at this point. And that's going to be it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Alright, let's jump into another game and see if we can get another win. Alright, bit of overwhelming hunger. What have we got going on here? V. The mighty V. The one and only. Let's get rid of tempering. Oh, oh, oh lord. Maybe making a bomb as well. I don't want to make no bombs up in here, man. Not about that. Ain't about that life. Maybe I should be. V is an interesting one, because we have a lot of tool removal. I think on red, we're probably okay. A lot of the time, we should have, on some level, what it takes to win. Okay. Oh, ah, killing this, apparently. Kind of didn't mean for that to be happening, but turns out we are killing it. Not sure we'll win the round, we just kind of need to delay the V getting eaten. We need to try to stop that from happening. Oh, don't, don't buff it. Don't buff it, mate. He buffed it. Oh god, he actually buffed it. What a maniac. Can't allow it. Don't let them eat the V. It'll get too big. Just don't let them eat it at all. That's gonna be the strat here. We just kinda chill. You want a foglet? Play it. You can play a foglet. Foglet's fine, but no V, please. We'll pay man Carry over. We're gonna have a big gourd. Our gourd is gonna step up to the mighty V and say, "Hello, mate. I'm a dwarf. You're a megapede. Would you like to t tussle? I suppose." And in all honesty, guys, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna go for us. I suppose we're going to try to win on even, right? That's probably the line of play. But I'm not sure we actually can, with the lava being alive. I don't know, this is a bit weird. You get a pretty big curse of corruption if they, uh... You know, stuff happens. Is this all god coming out? Or what? The lovely, lovely all god. I'm a bit confused now, mate. What do we do here? Try to win on even? I'm half tempted to just play a protector, then rebukes. I don't know if that's good at all, but I'm gonna do it. It's a big gourd. That's what I do know. I don't like this matchup, man. I don't like V. The more I play against it, the more I just feel bad in my bones. We got a matter. That's rare. I, I very rarely see matter in V. I think that much. Crikey. I just don't want to tell you. I guess we're making a bomb right now. Man. It's not a very good bomb, but we're making it. Making it happen. Here comes some more Vs, I guess. I'm not playing the curse, because I'm really not sure if we even win the round through playing the curse. You feel me? So I'm just kind of delaying a little bit, saying, Hello, mate, do you want to maybe play some leader charges? Do you want to play a V? What's your plan here? There's going to be a V. Uh, 
I just don't know if we even have this round, mate. It doesn't look too appealing. I think I've got a pass. I don't know if we're winning this, guys. We have two pieces of tour removal. And then we're on our own, effectively. <laughs> then we've just got to take out the Megapede with the Gord. The Sheldon. And the likes. But I'm not sure how viable that's going to be. Okay. Get rid of Agitator, I guess. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Somebody hold me. There's a big Ekimara. Dude, Ekimara the art, like, in my mind it's just a horse. Like, the horse is so prominent in the art that whenever I think of Ekimara, I just think of a horse. It's kind of a problem for me. Uh, it's kind of a, a great problem. I mean, the Sabertooth Tiger does nothing right now, anyway. Fuck. It might be okay if they don't have a, a haunt. Kind of running out of leader charges, right? So that means they might not be able to do V stuff in round three here. Yeah. Might be getting kind of the extent of the V shenanigans. I think now we're gonna have to play the curse. Because this is effectively the most value we get from it. But right now we're maybe we're in okay shape. Keeping it chill. Keeping it civil. We've got a big gourd. We might have to play the big gourd here. Uh, we might have to play the big gourd here, guys. Let's see. What can we do here? We need 11 points. Yeah, I think we have to play the big gourd, don't we? Oh, that's tragic. I don't know if we can win this game, guys. I just don't know. I really don't. We'll see, though. We'll see. Basically, the objective here is going to be to make him only have one... Uh, only to have one big, big guy. You feel me? Why am I mulliganing? What am I doing? Oh, Monk of Christ. Why have I got a Sheldon? Ah, what is my hand? I've got nothing left. V is such a silly deck, mate. <laughs> uh, all the tool removal in the world, and does it even matter? Maybe. Maybe it matters. So we can eliminate the haunt. And then we can probably actually eliminate other engines, right? If that's the case, they may only get to play one V in this round, and that might not be enough. Problem is, I don't have a finisher myself anymore. Okay, we're getting a Babagazi. I think we actually kill this with our leader. What do you reckon? Maybe not. It's a tricky one. Oh god, I don't know. I just don't know, mate. <clears throat> I just don't bloody know. Maybe just nature's rebuke and chill. I think we nature's rebuke and chill. This is getting really wild and wacky. They might also not have a horn if they play matter. Maybe that's the card that they cut. To fit the matter, in which case, I mean, maybe we've got this. I don't know, mate. That's a bad card. Oh, that is a bad card, sir. That is a bad card indeed. 
what do I do? Do we just play an agitator now? I think I've got to play Circle of Life, right? Kill this. I really don't know if we're winning this, man. We got some rats on the board. Rats on the board. The rats are scary. I was telling my sister about rats. Who are these guys? Now he plays that. Okay, well at least we have a unit here. We have a rat that we can buff. I don't know, mate. Are we? Do we have it? I don't know. I think they can just discard, right? And then. And we don't get leader value, yeah, and then I'm just losing. Bloody, no. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Are they doing it? Are they doing the discard play? Oh, they are. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. Well, well, well played, I guess. You got me. Uh, that's just tragic. <laughs> Fucking V, dude. It's so hard to beat, even with this deck. I don't, I don't know. Actually, just miserable. You have to have last save. I don't even know if you're able to get it with this deck against V. Maybe if they draw really badly. Ah oh, well. It's a bit of a rip, bit of a ripo. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop recording for today, guys, because my nose is fucked and I'm feeling miserable. But um, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay nonetheless. And subscribe as always if you would like to see more videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.